From the onset, when we started Coda, we definitely had our own vision for what we wanted. If you could take Coda Coffee in a nutshell and narrow it down to one phrase, we want people to feel good about the coffee they drink. So what does that mean? It means we're all about going to coffee growing communities and working with these people so one, we can get better coffee, and two, we can help those people. Something I've always noticed is coffee is very experiential. So people will always tell me about the cup of coffee they had on vacation or the cup of coffee they had with a barista made them feel good that morning. So I think that kind of emotional piece to it is really important. If the cup's brewed right, and if this is done right, it's really that situation you have that coffee in goes a lot to making that cup either the best cup or maybe not such a great cup of coffee. About a year into it, you know, we quickly realized, okay, hey, there's a lot of other things we need to bring to the table when you have a full spectrum of how to get customers' interest in our coffee. And in 2006, I had an opportunity to travel to Guatemala in this community called, it's in a shield community called A'a Chimbal. And through a collaboration with a local charity in Atlas Coffee Importers, we were able to build 80 homes with electricity and running water and a school in their community. And also the local charitable organization was religious driven, so we built a church as well. And I realized these are really impactful, awesome stories. And it's all about what they need. You know, we're not out to just build churches or just build schools. It's really focused on quality, paying them more money for that coffee. As we got into it, we realized there was a lot more than just simply the customer side. There's really the supply side. So as we grew through that, we developed more and more relationships at Origin and, and working with those farmers. And eventually we became B certified. And they're really this third party organization that will come in and audit companies. They basically put a, you know, how green are you? We were one of the first coffee roasters in the world to become B Corp certified. B Corp requires you to continually improve. So you can't just get recertified doing the same things you did when you got certified. You have to show that you're actively trying to make more decisions inside of the company to become a better you know, steward for the environment. I think the important thing to remember is that we create this thought bubble of how can we better the world? And so we're always at the forefront of what's the next thing we can do? We think we have unique brand in Coda Coffee for lots of things. We're professionals as far as creating the best bean possible. And then finally, we have a ton of experience in teaching our customers and our consumers on how to prepare this beverage the best way. Every single bean that Coda Coffee purchases and is branded as any brand leaving Coda Coffee, we are 100% specialty grade. Specialty Coffee Association has a scale of how we rate coffee, how we taste it, we'll give it a, a score. And any coffee to be considered specialty grade must be 80 points or higher. Since our partnership with Performance Food Group, I mean, the future's bright. I am extremely, extremely excited. And, you know, we're not gonna change. We're gonna add our goofy, I guess, coat of piece to it. I'm certainly learning a lot from the group and I couldn't be more thrilled with the direction of Coda Coffee right now.